doing any kind of email sending at all out of any kind of email sending tool you're probably struggling with spam having your mail go in the spam folder I know it stinks so I have a video here that I want to tell you about the things that the top things that you really want to try to do to avoid the spam folder so hopefully we can get you fixed it might take a little bit of time because you might already have a history of getting a whole lot of mail in the spam folder and the Google's and the email servers of the world need to see that you're making an attempt to not be that spammer looking person so let's go into these tips and i think you'll help they'll help a lot and the big key really is going to be making sure that you get your the first key is getting mail open so let's go in and talk more about that right now Now, yesterday I gave you a download for avoiding the spam folder, but I'm going to hit home some of the top ones that I want to make sure I saw many of you. I saw every single one that downloaded it because it came right in my account. Um, use the sender name from the address. So they use a sender from address. So you remember I was saying the address you're using uh, and what you're using in and out of so that keep it consistent because if you keep going in there and changing the email up, you're going to have an issue. So the email address itself is going to, has a history. Your email that you're sending from has a history attached to it. And if you're switching CRMs, by the way, you may be dragging that history along if you had a bad experience in that previous CRM. So FYI, watch out. But you need to build that. And how you build that is what I'm going to tell you here. Encourage the people to forward and reply to your email. So that's meaning ask a question because when they're forwarding and replying, it means that, oh, wow, this must be a legitimate person that's sending stuff. So remind them, add this stuff, make sure that you ask. And then also suggest that you add me to your contact book or your contacts. <laughs> Have them add you because when that happens, you're going to have a better chance of your stuff going into the inbox from that point forward if you were already having issues getting into spam. I would also follow up if it's something really important, like that first email that comes out of your drip campaign should say, and then you send a text that says, I just sent you something. If it's not there, and you've all seen this from me over the last two days, if it's not there, check your spam folder, okay? Make sure that you tell them what to do because they won't do it otherwise, or they'll just say, I never got it. You know, I had, you know, how many people yesterday told me I didn't get your email, but yet it was there, even though I said, check your spam. It wasn't a lot, but people like didn't assume they just, oh, I didn't get it. Well, go look in your spam folder because when you are adding a lot of things, like I was adding to the emails to you, you're going to have times where things are going to end up in the spam folder. It's not always, but add links and encourage clicks. And we just talked about the importance of that for you, but it's also important that the Googles of the world see that this was important and they clicked on it. So that's good for the email providers. And I hate to say this, but if you say to me, I don't want an unsubscribe button at the bottom of my emails, you're adding, you're, you're giving yourself, you're setting yourself up for getting in the spam folder because Google wants to see that, especially when you're using email service providers. It has to be there. And if they don't see it, it's going to go to spammer promotions because they can tell that this has been sent from an email service provider. So it has to be there. Don't cry over it. Shake it off. Move on to the next lead. There's plenty more out there who want to talk to you. And honestly, good riddance. You know, I ain't got time for you. If you want to opt out, get out of my face. I got other people to work with, right? So don't, don't take it personal. Just get out of here. How many times do you unsubscribe? Do it, you know? And then personalizing your subject lines. They do want to see like names of the people in the subject lines. And it's great for you because you want that there because the people will probably stop and open your mail with that in it.